I am back. I think it was just neighbors doing My things. Aim shall not falter. Carry a big gun. But hey, that rally, well time rally seemed to Follow turn the tide of the battle, although I think I wasn't really under much threat of losing from the start. Yes, I exist to serve. Are the instrument of his will? No one. We will stop us. They will burn. Okay, in we go. Agree. Agree. We should just pick all the squishy units on there after the battle point. All the squishy guys being, of course, the ones that aren't just By pure metal. No one wields us. Is at hand. Right, and see why they had trouble with the Guardians. See why Space Marines got monkey and Marshall broke the Guardians did by themselves. No one will stop us. This is probably a better way to, to optimize this and equip certain, certain groups. So that the Terminators get into range and fire and just waiting for the tanks to be in range of firing to sort of stack. Yeah, not so much. They can fire anyway, and everyone else sort of stands around like the tanks, like they're the ones in range of the attack. On alert, brothers. The enemies be nearby. Okay, that was kind of wasted all through my armor. I was hoping to say it was something awesome, but such an event, such an event did not occur because it wasn't really needed. Because they didn't really put up any sort of fight. And the Demon Prince himself has failed to crush a single land raider yet. Oh, he's killing Terminate, the, the Dreadnought, that's why. I hope he's just being up this Terminator to to charge him. But I guess it makes sense, so I'm saying they're going to throw their hammers at him and then leave themselves defenseless. I don't know if you can break that thing's morale. Smite though, smite it. Come on, do something cool. Nope, too late. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Under fire! Yep, we didn't really need to use this demon hound to kill him. <laughs> and this dog gets shot by a turret do shot just as he crushes the demon prince. You will do us all. Ignore her, Captain. Destroy this stone before it leads others to ruin. You know not what you do. We cannot allow this. Take this human down. No! You have damned us all. Well done, Captain. Let us bid haste, brothers. The fleet is about to depart and leave us stranded. I am free. You have my friends. Show yourself, demon. Oh, that's the big deal. I am not your herald, Warp Spawn. I am not. You release me. No. I destroyed the stone. Yes. And had you done so sooner, you might well have vanquished me. Instead, you contributed to my release with your every sacrifice. Sacrifice? What sacrifice? This planet was an altar human. To the Blood God, Corn. Singly arranged the old invasion, knowing the space frames would come to end their threat. Every death was a sacrifice toward my release. And I must say, your contributions were many and magnificent. Isidore, Bale, and finally, Sindrid himself. Without so many offerings, I would have remained trapped. I thank you. I will spare your life for now. Yes, free. And no, I will soon come to claim you all. Then come and find your 
judgment waiting. You have escaped captivity, only to face annihilation. I know you. Kind of cocky since he's straight, squaring up to a demon. Is that a mission? Nope, it's just turning to the credits. Hey, yeah, there's a game from Relic Entertainment. One of the studios underneath the guise of THQ. Who are still apparently trundling along. Unfortunately trundling along, because, you know, I'd be hoping that they'd be doing a lot better. I mean, if you play this skirmish, it's probably one of the funnest RTSs to play skirmish. Might want to use, uh, after you get a couple of the expansions in though. Minus Soulstorm. Soulstorm is unbalanced and terrible, and I think it was actually put a different company. Soulstorm is kind of cool when you first play it, because, like, they have so many new units, and they added, like, now two new races. There's so many in the game now. They got all these different units. Oh, it's really cool. Until you realise that, yeah, they cared more about adding in all these cool-looking things from the universe rather than balancing them to be workable. See, that's the Avatar doing what it should have been doing. I've been kidding about two space marines. It's kind of a big step up as well from the mech boy to the avatar. I think it probably actually the treadmill was better than the mech boy. So yeah, thank up for the sequel. Again, I haven't finished the sequel, so maybe the does follow on the storyline. I didn't realise the two storylines really connected that much, but I guess they do. Well, I hope they do anyway. But that'll be a let's play for another time. After all, I do have some uh, new LP videos to, well, some sort of trailers to new LPs for me to show you. And I want you guys to have a poll on them. Hopefully, uh, I guess you could really put anywhere because how I'm probably you're not going to get enough comments anyway to really make much of a difference but um, it would be useful if you post what you want me to play in the comments of that video I could stick it on the end of the LP but I don't really just want to have it for you know, the, only the people who watched the very end of this very long LP to uh, pick what's next although that'll show you that you're a proper fan All right. Anyway, I'm going to end off now and leave you with the sight of a Black Legion Chaos Space Marine because surely they were probably even more canned fodder than those.